Hello everyone. I felt so compelled to share with you at the moment. And um, so I'll turn on the camera and just to share what's coming to my mind and I can, that's really, really cool. You know, it started with the, um, the question about freedom and like, this is like really profound. <laughs> How did I learn it? That was really profound. You know what I'm saying? I ask, I think the fundamental question, you know, it's like, what is freedom? And freedom from what? And freedom from freedom. And then there's a lot of inquiry that happens. Inquiry, inquiry, inquiry. Inqu inquire. You start to inquire, like, what is this thing about question? The qu <laughs> freedom. Like, what is freedom? You know, you start to inquire and you start to ask yourself questions. I do. I did. I do. I did. I do. All the time. And um, because uh, I became very curious about the roles that I was playing. Um, and I didn't even know I had a role. I didn't even know that there was a role. And, um, and since, you know, um, my birthright, which I've come to realize, is my, is joy and the possibility to love. Because I think that that never even really made any sense because I never really felt like I, I was really against myself. There was a part of me that did. But then there was another part of me that, I don't know, that was always questioning certain things when I was little and um and freedom was it becomes more and more like more and more the question of like when you get older because I just had my birthday like when you get older what is freedom what is what is actually this big word of freedom and you know if I'm all these labels that I you know that you wake up to realize hey I'm not you know the boyfriend in this situation, I'm the teacher in this situation, I'm the choreographer in this situation, I'm, uh, I'm, um, the lecturer in this, I'm a mentor in this situation, I am the brother in this situation, I am the son, I am the grandson, I am, I am the, the sinner. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, so all these questions arise when you start to ask yourself, like, um, why am I, why am I here? What am I here for? What is this about? And what am I chasing? And you, I don't know, I don't know. Like, you wake up to realizing that you're, you're chasing something, some kind of, some kind of dream, some kind of, something. You're chasing something. Like, I don't know. Like, I have no idea how I woke up woke up to this question of questioning myself and then with the asking myself what am am I am I fully myself am I fully myself um because that you know you you hear like freedom is um the truth shall set you free so what is the truth like what is the truth about me so if I took away my name which it was, I I didn't choose it so I didn't choose any of this stuff you know I didn't choose it, it apparently but I do believe in like other things. I do believe in uh, reincarnation and everything. But a belief is only something you keep thinking. And I realize that maybe perhaps a belief, our imagination, our imagination is a really a huge part of our perception, right? Or questioning, questioning the thing, right? And if I imagine this, and uh, dreams don't, dreams come from mag imagination. And um, I realized that they're closely connected and also with freedom. But uh, the truth shall set you free was also, there was the question, like asking myself the question. And, um, and uh, so I decided one day, which felt so natural, is to speak my truth, my speak my truth out loud. And then I realized that I felt really strange by doing that. And, um, and because, I don't know, I was stepping outside my comfort, comfort zone to to follow my dream. Don't you love this music? I put on soundtracks in the background because you know I believe what life is a movie, and I've said that before. That's a really really profound, and um, it is it is quite a question. 
So what is this life about? What is freedom? What is freedom? Do I have, do I have, what, do I, what can I, can I be free about? More, more can I be free about? Can I be free about, you know, the social media is here. So like questioning or sharing. Sharing is like, uh, sharing, I don't know, it felt so weird. It's like, it felt so weird and, um, odd. And I said, is this freedom? Freedom from this, uh, labeling of this experience that I'm doing. Freedom from that. Freedom, freedom from expressing myself. Uh, freedom from, uh, can I have, can I have freedom from, um, mm, the approval of other people. That's like when I used to, uh, um, when I first started to make my work, I would, you know, and be a teacher and be all this and everything. I never really did that before. And then I felt these kind of feelings that were like, I wasn't, um, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't valid or like I wasn't uh, I wasn't good enough or I wasn't all this stuff that my mind started coming up and, and I was like can I have be free of these thoughts because when you recognize and you and you're aware and you meditate you realize that their thoughts are so random and um, and there's a possibility to surrender to them and I realized that surrendering would equal more freedom and more freedom within myself to um, discover discover more and more and could I do that? Like, could I ask, ask myself, could I do that? Could I just be free about everything? And be free about um, the, the lack of concern about anything, uh, response from anybody. And I, and I could, um, you know, as, I don't know. You know. I think the question is like you either, uh, are res it resonates with you or not resonate with you. But I'm not the story because I've lived in five countries. I've, I've, I'm a boy, I was born with a penis. I, um, I grew up in this society. I grew up in, a, in this social system. I grew up uh, conditioning and organized religion. I mean, what was me? Like who was me? Who am I? Who am I without all that labeling that story? Like, because like, if I can look at it, if I can look at it, I must be that, right? If I can look at my story, if I can observe, like you know, like there's a part of you that knows that um, that you're watching this video right now. So there's like this, isn't it very, very beautiful? It's just so loving. It's so amazing. Like, it's like waking up to realizing that and you have a choice on how you, because I used to suffer. You know, I said that over and over and over, but that's just what the phenomenon is, is that life is impermanent. Like things, Im events are impermanent. And so if I don't take any thoughts with me, I'm labeling anything, there's so much joy. There's so much joy that's had and, and, and it doesn't need any, need anything. And it's my own, my own joy and, and and less attachment to to my thoughts or labeling about anything because if the past has never happened i mean if this moment has never happened it's fresh it's all new and and i don't need to take anything that i learned uh I, you know it sounds contradictory absolutely i'm sure there's a level of reality that like really needs your story absolutely needs your story because it is like part of how you interact with people and things and perceive and approve and disapprove and judge and all those kind of things that just come with the story, like come with the story. And when you wake up to that, like when you start to meditate, and I'm talking, now I meditate 24 seven because I'm aware, like super aware. And this is why I love to share because it, because I am that awareness, you are me and I am you. And that I, when this really could resonate and really, because I have that desire, I don't know why I have the desire, I have it. Have it. I don't always have the desire to share because I actually really don't know anything and I know in fact that I do not know anything. Um, how do I know that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, it is kind of, it's the most, most loving thing so I want to share and I'm sharing at this moment. Not that I'm trying to give you anything and that's what's so beautiful because I don't, I don't have this agenda to try to give you anything. Um, there's a play, there's an ego, there's everything that's behind them. I am not all that either. That's, I'm not even like what is observing myself, observing myself recording this video. And this, my friends, sounds very disassociated or detached. But that's where I am and that's my prerogative and that's where I love. And I have so much bliss and so much joy. And um, it's really... Uh, interesting. It's very interesting, and um, then this, when the story's gone, what is it? There's no thing, right? There's no thing. There's no label. There's no. There's just this experience, 
and waking up is there's a lot of people waking up there's a lot of people waking up around the world and um and uh it's incredible i connect with these people and and kind of share with these people i don't like um you know it, it more um more and more and more i'm not interested in people with with egos that fear that fear that fear you know i'm it's not that i don't come across of course come across with a lot of the, those kind of people and um and they have big inflated egos and they puff their chests up and and they don't and they're not concerned about other people and that's just how the world is like sees how it is and you know i've been one of those people i guess i assume you know i always had a loving heart like we all always have a loving heart and probably you know there's it sounds so contradictory because there's the light and the dark and it's just so synonymous with each other it's it's all the same thing like i've come to realize that you know like my my thoughts like i have really really bad uh, rude, negative, bitchy thoughts, and I have those thoughts that arise and, and um, in me, and I don't know where they come from. And um, and most of my thoughts, I wouldn't even choose. I wouldn't. I wouldn't choose and label and judge and um, and 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 see it from that perspective. So I realized. That, I mean, you know, hey, I'm making everything up. It needs me. It like it needs. It needs my eyes, my brain. It needs. It needs uh, the interaction of life. It needs you. It needs the story because that's how you negotiate and respond and and all this kind of thing. And um, yeah, <laughs> um, the flow. I just felt the flow uh, coming, and I wanted to share that because there's a continuous thing, and in its choice, your choices really bring so much love and joy uh, to you when there's no need of of having to play these roles and they do happen and there's nothing wrong with anything that I'm saying uh, that I'm suggesting here I'm like suggesting because there's not there's not and that's that's the purpose of it perhaps I don't know if a life a life driven purpose what is your purpose in life you know like I realize I don't have any purpose um, because that's attachment or desires a desirous desire now having desire is also a desire you know it's like a catch-22 kind of situation so um yeah so where it all goes where it leads i have no idea and no clue and it's beautiful surrendering to that and realizing surrendering is beautiful and it's so gorgeous um and um there are moments that and you don't you don't miss so much the moment and uh you can be free from free from any a part of your story and that's there are a lot of people out there that, that um, and I say that because I guess, you know, um, we, we have that natural sense of belonging and belonging to what and to whom. And, and uh, when you wake up and you express yourself, you express yourself from a point of view where it may be confusing, and, uh, confusing to people who knew you before or I don't know, or like he wasn't like that or she was like that or all this kind of label. It's part of your story. Well, this is also part of the story, which is it. Mm, I don't know. I don't really know. I just wanted to turn this on and just share it and um, maybe it just sparks something. And it doesn't, it doesn't. It's, it's all beautiful because um, <clears throat> that's what I wanted to share. That's what I want to share. All right. I love you so much. Love is love. Yeah. Love, 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 love you. And uh, thanks for watching if you watched. Ciao.